is it is February 18th. I am just not feeling good at all. I have a fucking cold. I I'm, I'm really not feeling good. The kids are sick. I'm about to get in the shower. Or get the kids in the shower first and then I'll get in after them. And do some cleaning because I have no choice. The kids like really, really sick, you know, like the whole puking and diarrhea and everything. So that's part of my day. Um Yeah, I guess I'll just update you guys after. I did order some some food for us to have. And yeah. I'm gonna jump in after them and then I will vlog right after. So stay tuned. Huh. I don't even know if this recording can be seen. It is. So a little update that I did get. They are still gonna move forward with taking the baby out early. So I'm honestly limited. I'm not gonna say when but I do have six weeks and six days to go. This is my due date, so we have to figure all that out. I think Monday we're all talking about it again and just seeing like what we're gonna do from there. I'm freaking sick. I took some Benadryl because it's approved. I can't take that one pregnant, but the children's one. Um, the shower helped me a lot because my nose was like stuck. I just put some Vicks on my hands and then I kind of rubbed it up my chest and they got in a hot shower and it like opened everything up so my nose isn't as stuffy. I look freaking half dead all the time. Like, look at this. So right now we're just going to eat. We're going to just relax while we watch a movie and then we will probably get up and clean when their dad gets back. Like finish cleaning because you know every weekend you're supposed to deep clean. I don't care what it says. We deep cleaned in this house and we gotta start setting up everything for the baby <clears throat> and then I'll still do that vlog of what's in my hospital bag, what's in the baby's bag and everything like that so stay tuned for that. If there's anything else that you guys want to know and or want to see just comment below or if you have me on social media you can always DM me and let me know you know but for now I hope you guys are enjoying this journey. I should have been vlogging a lot more, but I just have been going through a lot, and I am really sick. I'm not talking about, like, a cold-wise. Like, I have, I've been having a lot of health issues, so that's why I've vlogged a lot. This is vlog number four, so I will be posting the rest of them today. So I'll just go ahead and post all the ones that I do have right now. So, this one I will do this one all the way until tomorrow, so this one I won't. Stop, it's just sauce. I won't post this one today or tonight. I will post the other three and then I'll go on and then post the other one tomorrow and or sometime next week. I don't know because I don't want to overload it. So just say to you guys. Hey. Oh, I don't know if this is recording now. Mateo, leave your sister alone. I did finally. Brush my hair. So it's just trying now. Right now, the kids are just uh, eating pizza. Mom, we have a lot of organizing to do. Can I see? Our room is freaking a mess. That's not peppers. That's just pizza sauce, Mateo. Mateo only eats the breadsticks. He don't like pizza and all that other good stuff. I like I'm pizza. having this. The box is grossed out because I had to use a different. I had to take out the... I don't want you to use the bigger box to come up here because oh, your boy is tired. I don't feel like washing all the dishes, messing up a dish. I have <clears throat> been contracting all freaking day. Hey guys, so it is February 21st. I believe it's like 3 o'clock right now. Um, we just got back from the doctor and we didn't really get any good news. Um, the baby is having some complications <clears throat> I'll go more into detail during the vlog but I am being admitted into the hospital until I give birth so it's that type of seriousness um, I didn't expect 
I didn't expect this to happen. I just honestly expected to go to the appointment, you know, see the baby, you know, get a good update and then come home, eat and relax with my other two children and my fiance and first to watch movies or something, you know, because I had a hard night. I was contracting all night. They weren't too close, but they were just a lot. So right now, if you see me looking down, it's because I'm packing my stuff. So I'm packing a bag and I will be heading over there. I'm honestly depressed about it because I'm going to be there alone till I have the baby and I have six weeks to go. And I just, I don't like being apart from Ami and Mateo and T. So it's going to be, it's going to be hard just video chatting with them only and not being able to you know, see them and do normal things like I do with them, make their lunches and all that stuff. But, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do because we gotta make sure this other child comes into the world safe and also make sure I'm safe as well. So right now I'm packing. Um, I just thought I would give a little update right now and I'll continue vlogging after. I'm gonna get some food after I'm done. I'll show you guys what I packed um, and all that. So stay tuned, guys. Okay guys, I do not know if you can see me or not, it's like dark in this room. So, I got up at 11.30 a.m. I went, got dressed, went to my doctor's appointment. We did not get a lot of good news. Um, the baby is having some difficulties and with my body and we just... We all decided, and the doctors decided, that it was best for me to be in the hospital until I give birth. Mind you, I have six weeks to go. So, I am in a lot of pain. I was contracting. I'm not feeling good. I've been trying to, trying to eat a little bit of something. Like, I got here at 4.35, one of them. Uh, the cafeteria was already closed, so I didn't get any food. But they were able to bring me like a little sandwich that they had, um, some applesauce. Like, I'll just show you guys. So I was able to get these on my phone. Here's my room. My luggage. Baby monitor. They did prick me, like, a lot. Like, they really got me. So, you can see, I'm in the hospital. You can see my bed, hair tore up, everything. I mean, sun's blanket. Right now I have a heating, well, a hot pack on my back because they gave me a steroid shot. I had to get two COVID tests. I had to get swapped four different things. I guess um, eight vials of blood taken. Um, I got my steroids checked. I'm not dilated, but I'm contracting. Um... I took my meds already. They came and gave me all my meds. I have my cup with my ice water. I do have some applesauce left, some crackers, and I think that's about it for now. I did bring some extra like socks. I brought some fuzzy socks because the hospital ones don't really work as well. Like, my feet are freezing. It's really cold in here though. Um, for now, I just. <gasps> just chilling basically I'm just gonna watch some YouTube or some videos on my phone I did bring my laptop but um, I'm just gonna save it for during the day so I'll go ahead and have that charged up because I think it's about dead have my phone have my phone charger back there the nurses I have they're really really sweet and nice and a lot of the people who actually I have right now like the ultrasound tech and everyone like they all have seen me before and they remembered me and they all know that this is a tough journey. Um, an update on the kids. The kids are with my sister Elena. She's got her husband Steven and their daughter Azayo. Um, they'll be back and forth between dad and home because um, T works. So when he's at work, she'll have the kids. And then when he gets off, he'll have the kids. So right now we're just video chat with family trying to figure out what we could do. 
just it was all pretty unexpected and we didn't expect any of this to happen i honestly expected just to get up i was contracting all night so i only got like an hour to two hours of sleep before my appointment so i was already tired i didn't eat anything yet go to the appointment and then that's when they're like okay hey you know you're actually gonna go to the hospital instead we can't risk anything right now we're at we're high risk like the baby could end up dying so this is to make sure if anything goes wrong they'll immediately catch it and i will be rushed into the the or so to keep praying for us and just you know keep us in your thoughts and it's gonna be a hard journey but it'll be worth it once it's all over and i just i'm praying that we both come out okay so let's just go up there and all it is the what is it it's actually february 21st it is 10 o'clock at night so that's about it I'm, I'm really sad because i'm not used to being away from my kids and tea like that and I'm gonna be here alone. The only thing I have is my phone to video chat because visiting hours are nine to one, no, nine to seven, and T doesn't get off work until almost eight o'clock. And he goes to work at six. The kids obviously can't come up and visit. Like if any of my friends want to, then they can come up and visit with me for an hour or so. But they have to come between those times, but everyone works, so you know. I don't expect anyone to drop their schedule or anything for me, you know. So, it's just me and y'all right now. I will still be vlogging and uploading while I'm in here because what else do I have to do? I'm stuck in this hospital room for a while. And pretty much it. I really don't make any noise or anything. I just I'm pretty much just lay here just going through social media. And I bring my stuff to budget and try to pass time and not think about everything because I am upset. I honestly started crying because I don't want to be here alone. I'm just stuck here. Just me. I don't want to talk to, you know, people can call me or whatever, but, you know, I don't, I'm used to waking up to my kid, going to sleep, um, you know, checking them in and stuff, and it's going to be a big adjustment for all of us because... I had to say goodbye to them, and they are too young to understand what's going on, so they're just saying, Mommy's going to the doctor because Mommy's sick. That's what they think. They don't realize that I'm going to be gone for so long unless the baby comes early, and then I will return home. But so it's like I'm leaving home pregnant, but I'm coming home with a baby, so... It's going to be a difficult journey, but I know we have... We can get through it and, like, you know, make it home. So right now I'm probably just going to finish this cup of water and put on a movie and then probably just try to get some sleep. If I can't, then I'll just vlog and talk to y'all. But for now, that's it. So day one in the hospital. Okay, guys, it is 2 o'clock in the morning. And I'm not having it. But I'm having a lot of freaking pressure and pain. And it's just, it's too much. The nurse gave me a hot pad and then she brought me two extra pillows. So I have five pillows right now. Mm. I'm just not freaking working. This just hurts. It's like super freaking active. You can't see because it's so freaking far away. Let me see if I can get it on the. Let's see. I won't focus. trying to freaking not be in pain. I'm just watching some YouTube. Bro. You're all so lucky I'm vlogging this. I honestly feel like 
look like I have to shit really bad. That's why the pressure is but it's not dilated at all, so it's like nothing. But I get the whole feeling of it and all this. Too much, I'm fucking tired. I just wanna go to sleep. I don't do this. I think I have like 50,000 socks in my freaking fucking sheets right now. My legs hurt. That story shop where I got it at is like I'm burnt. I took off the tape from my arms because they were hurting me. I'm gonna try to breathe through these. So, um, she brought me some ice water. I'm gonna have that and try to watch some YouTube, try to get my mind off of it. And we'll see you guys in the morning. Alexa says to stop then. I will vlog again. So, I want you guys to have the whole experience with me. I want you to see it. And I'm gonna be a little back on this and see what I'm going through, which is a lot. I am on my second high V bag. They're gonna bring me some pain meds and nausea mitigation. My baby keeps freaking coming off the freaking monitor too. I'm trying to show you guys without showing my hoo ha. Let's see. There you go. You can see the baby stuff. Don't worry, I'm covered. So, yeah, story of my life. Hey, good morning, YouTube. So, ooh, something sticky on my arm. It is Tuesday, February 22nd. This is day two um, of me being in the hospital, part of my day in the life I'm in the hospital right now. So, they just came in and they gave me my morning meds which oh nobody wants to get up and just take meds I already went to the restroom um I'm waiting for this IV bag to finish I don't know if you guys can see me or hear me so clearly but I didn't want to see her cap I'm like my <laughs> camera hold my camera stand is in my bag so I have you guys propped up on a freaking thing of peanut butter <laughs> It is 6.18 a.m. I got up around like 4.30. I go to the bathroom. And I woke up with really, really bad pain. So I didn't really get much sleep because, you know, I did mention <coughs> in the first video, you know, I am upset because I'm here by myself with no one. And I'm used to waking up to my son and my face and my daughter are both of them sleeping in my bed because they don't know how to stay in their own beds and hearing my spouse T snoring and me yelling at him or his alarms going off like this boy's alarms go off he sets them like from 5 all the way to 6 o'clock but it's like every 10 minutes and he don't hear none of them so I'm usually the one waking up and like turn off your alarms turn off your alarms so I got up I did get up at 5 cause and I, I just I'm immune to it probably now and just that's you and my normal I was trying to watch a movie last night and my stupid freaking phone wouldn't load it and then like I freaking get up and I see that it loaded it up like okay bro that's just what it's like so right now I'm up so, I gotta be up anyways because my daughter has school at 7.45. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm looking over the menu that they gave me. So, I can see what I want to eat for breakfast. Go ahead and call my sister and make sure, you know, she has her uniform, her lunch, her jacket. My sister did her hair last night. Make sure my son is set. And everything and still my day I may not be home but I still need to do you know my mom duties regardless of where I'm at just so you know make sure my kids are okay and then also make sure T's doing okay that I know that this is probably hard on him because it's hard on me 
It's such a, a big change. We have a lot of days. We have freaking for 20 some days to be here. So, it's just adjustment and it's a lot. Right now, I did save some crackers just in case I was nauseated, but they gave me the medicine and I didn't kick in so fast and I got me some ice water. They gave me that good ice, like the Sonic ice. So, yeah, that's just me. I look busted, it's hella tired, it's hella stressed out. Y'all know me, I'm still one of the weirdos and uh, I'm out here today I'll probably readjust my budgeting because oh, who is this? I don't know this I'm all trying to freaking click some type of movie. Um the connection sucks here. It's really hard to watch a movie. Um readjust my budgeting and everything and you know, I do. It's so weird because I'm so used to working. So me not working, it's been weird for the past. It's my second week. Um, but yeah, guys. So I'm going to look over this menu. And then I will vlog when my food gets here so you guys can see what I got. So, about to see a whole day in the life of pregnant mom, third baby in the hospital so stay tuned guys and i also need her i wish they could hurry up and i can order at a seven because your boy wants to brush your teeth and i have to get an order to shower but t's calling me now he's on his way to work so i will be answering that hi hey guys have you propped up on the peanut butter again so i did order breakfast um i ordered scrambled eggs two pancakes um yogurt and I did get a blueberry muffin with some cranberry juice on the side yeah because I could not think of what the hell I wanted so yeah um that's gonna be my breakfast I am just watching YouTube I did get off the phone with tea already and I'm gonna wait and then uh, see what my sister is doing and see if she got my daughter up addressed and everything's going well with them and that's pretty much it. It's pretty cold in here. I was talking to some friends they were checking on me and things. So it was just me and baby and YouTube. I wore my laptop so that came in handy because the laptop charger actually reaches all the way over here my phone doesn't so my phone has to be all the way back here on my pillow so it's gonna take about 40 minutes to get my breakfast which is fine so I'll do that and should be okay but so far that's it I will record when I get my food so you guys can see what I got and then I'm waiting for the order to be put in but let me read you guys closely I'm waiting for the order to be put in for me to be able to shower. I know that sounds weird, but I'm not allowed to shower. I'm on bed rest. I can get like a home bath, is what they would call it, but I can get like washed, like from somebody else, but I'd rather not. Like, I just feel like, you know, I can do it myself. Yes, I'm in pain, but I want to be able just to sit or stand in the shower and just clean myself. So. I'm waiting for that order to be put in through my doctor so I can be able to feel cleaner. So let me brush my teeth and all. <sighs> but I don't want to shower. I just feel gross. I just feel gross because I'm sweating pretty bad. But so far that's it. I'm watching this Korean channel that I do love. I don't know what meat they're making but it's going to look good and I can just tell. If you really know me y'all, y'all know I grew up on Korean food. I love me food from Korea. That's, you know, my second mother, um, Monica Lee. You know, ever since I was a little baby. That's honestly one of my favorite dishes. That's what I just constantly have. But that food look good. I don't know which one that is, but uh, I got some really good stuff. 
Korean street foods and how it's made, so it's pretty good. Um, right now, the baby's kind of up and a little active. I'm probably going to have to come adjust my monitor because I was sitting up. So with me leaning back, it probably did knock the baby off a little bit. But we'll see. So that's just pretty much it right now, guys. I'm bored as heck. I don't know what to watch. Drop in the comment section of some videos or movies on, you know, Netflix. That's all I have on my laptop and Tubi. I didn't put Hulu or anything, so what I can watch. And some more video ideas. And it's, I'm sorry, it's pretty boring, guys. I just, I'm obviously in the hospital. I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything. They do so. They did say that they're gonna run the IV a little bit longer almost through that second bag they slowed it down because it's making me urinate like almost every 10 minutes and that's tiring you could not get some sleep and my body was hurting so that's it for now guys be back with an update when my breakfast gets here okay guys here is my breakfast give me two syrups some butter I got a blueberry muffin some pancakes Cranberry juice and yogurt. I'm pretty sure it's from Nasty House Plain. Oh, no. Nope. Strawberry. So, that's breakfast. I don't even know what I'm going to have for lunch. Um, I have been contracting, so they're going to come and give me a shot of morphine and or something to kind of, you know, get rid of them because your boy is in pain. Um, I am going to be able to shower today, so I got that approved, so I'm like, so happy. I'm going to shower. I have to have that gown on, but I'm going to ask if I can have a regular shirt on. Because, like, a regular shirt or something, like, in some shorts, because I think it'd just be more comfortable for me. I hate having the gown on. And that's pretty much it. I'm just watching more food videos and... Keeping everyone updated on everything, definitely tea, because I know he's worried. So, I'm going to eat this breakfast, guys, and then I will catch up with you guys once I'm getting ready to go shower. So I can show you guys that routine, because they're about to put me through the hell. Because i got to be on this monitor all the time, and I'll just probably go over just what they're going to do. The plan for me showering, because I'm on 24-7 watch, and so is the baby. And we have this whole IV and all this other stuff. And I have to get my second steroid shot today, so I'll be getting um, one every 24 hours. So, that should be fun. They hurt a lot. I mean, you have to get them in your butt cheeks, so they hurt. And when you have no ass like me, it hurts 10 times worse. Guys, stay tuned, guys.